It was in 2015 that Russia's clean sporting image started to unravel. Its domestic anti-doping agency, Rusada, was declared non-compliant after a report by sports lawyer Professor Richard McLaren alleged widespread corruption. A year later, a further report accused Russia of operating a state-sponsored doping program, something Russia's always denied. Then, in 2018, WADA reinstated Russia as compliant after Russia's domestic agency agreed to hand over lab data. But then, information from a whistleblower prompted a new inquiry. The data that is turned over has been manipulated. Not only has it been changed, but uh, conversations have been inserted that were fictitious and uh, people's uh, uh, roles were changed in the data. Uh, there are a number of different changes that went on that uh, resulted in this recommendation of uh, non-compliance with the code. WADA says this non-compliance is extremely serious and has recommended immediate steps be taken, including banning Russia from taking part in global sporting events for four years, a ban on hosting major events and even a ban on bidding for major events. This could pose an immediate problem for Russia. It's due to host Euro 2020 games in St. Petersburg next year. But it's not final yet. WADA's executive committee meet in Paris in two weeks to consider this latest report and make their final decision. Rich Preston, BBC News.